League of Legends has over 1,000 skins. And even though they make no difference to the gameplay, idiots like me end up spending all of my money on them. Like, why did I need every single Warwick Chrome? I'm only in Silver 4. So I'm going to give my take on the skins of a champion one at a time. Firstly, my credentials. My credentials are my Instagram pictures because... Um, my mom said I look super cool in them. At the end of every skin, I will rank it on this table. All right, let's find out who is the most played champion on League of Legends and start with them. Jinx won probably because of that famous show Arcane. I don't care, could have been anyone. Let's rank some skins. So according to this search, Jinx has a total of eight skins. Let's start with the first one, Battle Cat. All right, Battle Cat, so far, oh, I like the recall. The recall's cool, I like that little cat effect they got going on as well. Way better than the original one. For reference, I'm gonna put the original skin in the top left so you can see it. All right. So the shooting is done. That's, that's the random auto attack. That's all right. Nothing special. I guess it goes with the theme. So slightly green. It's a nice skin, but compared to original one, it's not anything special. You know what I mean? Like skins that I like tend to be a bit more flashy. I don't like that it's not that flashy. It's not really obvious. You know what I mean? That you've got a different skin. The original one compared to this one, obviously this one's better, but I would make it a bit more oomph, you know, a bit more stands out. A bit more cooler lighting, maybe some sort of like prismatic tones or some sort of like galaxy effect, like that Fortnite skin. All right, you know what? Not a bad skin. Not the best so far. I'm going to rank this now, but it was it was all right. I'd be lying if I said the skin was anything higher than a C rank. It was nothing special. The next skin is for the Arcane TV show. And honestly, it looked cool in the show. But in League, I think it's the most boring skin ever. Honestly, I've already told you how I feel about this skin. I mean, look at the recall, man. It's the bog standard basic one. They didn't even put any effort in for this. That's literally why I think the skin was free for everyone. All right, what about the special ability? Even the rocket is the same as the original skin. This skin is by far the worst, man. Honest to God, there's better skins out there. I don't rate the skin at all. And I meant what I said because on the table, it's easily going to be at the bottom. I'm literally going to change the name of the bottom category to dog shit and put it there. Next up is Project Jinx. And oh, already the skin looks so cool. All right, so this skin looks so cool. This is what I meant. It's got that edginess to it. The hair looks sick, man. I like it so much. Even for thought into the design of the gun, it looks so pretty and cool. It looks like a... You know Clash of Clans, the elixir thing? It looks like that. Wow, right? Wow. This is a recall. This is what we like. I like how the gun shoots. It gives me very laser-esque vibes. I guess that makes sense because Project is meant to be all in the future and Project Jinx is meant to be like a futuristic skin. Wait, the rocket was so cool. I like that explosion. Look at that. That was sick. That's what I want. I love this skin. This is so far. This skin is by far the best. It's by far. Easily. Alright, this skin was freaking sick. Easily top tier. Way above those shitty skins below. Literally, in comparison, it makes them look super ass. Alright, so the next skin is Odyssey Jinx. And Jinx's hair is ginger, so I doubt it's a good skin. Odyssey Jinx is cool, but it gives me very Zarya vibes from Overwatch 2. I'm not sure why. And the hair is cool, but the color is rubbish. Who wants a ginger character? The gun design is also very basic. They should have changed the way it looked, to be honest. It feels lazy. They just added a few colors to it. They haven't done anything special. Okay, I'm gonna sound like a hater, but I like the recall, but the color should be different. Blue is the basic color. Also, that's super cool. The, what was that? Like, um, I don't even know what the hell that was. The alien thing grabbing it, that was pretty cool. I like that, I rate that. Okay, the rocket was cool. I love the portal it just started from. That's like the best thing about this whole skin. Odyssey was a basic skin, to be honest, but you're trolling if you say it's as good as Project Jinx. But I think it's better than Battle Cat, so I'm gonna give it a B tier skin. All right, so next is Star Guardian Jinx, and the picture looks so cool. Please don't let me down. I have high expectations. This skin is so freaking sick. I love the color scheme. I love the weapon design. And that like ghost looking Pokemon thingy next to it is also so cool. I also love how the hair stands out and goes well with the white dress. This skin is sick, man. The recall, mmm. I don't know it's average. They could have made it cooler. It feels too empty. Like the ghosts are small. Maybe they could have added like a scenery on top to make it stand out, stand out. You know what I mean? Okay, that animation is so freaking cool. And it's even cooler because Jinx normally walks really slowly. I like how the weapon shoots like stars since the skin is called Star Guardian. Oh, it makes sense. That rocket was so cool. It was a completely different design. That's the best rocket so far. Honestly, I really like this skin. Except the recall, this skin is so cool. It really stands out. I like the design of the gun too. It's very white and gold and it's not red and white. They've kind of made it stand out a bit more and I like that. The question is, where does this skin rank? I feel like it's deserving for an S tier skin because of the awesome hair color. If you made it this far, we are nearly done with the skins. Thank you and check out my League of Legends streams on YouTube at these times. 
and if you missed that, it's also in the description. Picture art-wise, this is the best by far, man. It would be a shame if this one let me down. Firstly, how old is this skin? Why is the interface so different on League of Legends? Secondly, I don't know how I feel about this. I really like the design of the launcher. I think it's really cool. But then when I see the machine gun, I'm like, that looks ugly. Like, I try, I see how they try to put the dragon on top of both, but it looks so cool on the rocket, but the machine gun looks ugly. Maybe they should have made the color of the dragon a bit more, like, obvious or something. I like the costume. For an eight-year-old skin, this is low-key really good. And you know why else I like it? It's because you can tell it's obviously different from the original Jinx skin. I think that's the most important part. And I like how it's like, I think it was designed for Chinese New Year. That's why it's called Firecracker, I could be wrong. I'm interested to see how the skin recalls. Yo, the recall's kinda cool, you know? For an eight year old skin, obviously it could be cooler if there was more flashy effects and stuff, and there's only one little gun shooting around, but for something that was made nearly a decade ago, I think that's pretty good. It's better than the other ones we've seen today. Like the rubbish Jinx Arcane skin that was made literally a few years ago. Okay, this skin is so old that I don't even know what the hell is happening in this scene. What the hell is this capturing turret thing? I've never seen that. The machine gun animation is kind of basic, I guess. My favorite thing though is the rocket. You see that firework effect? I'm a fan of that. It's got too much black in it right now, so you can't see stuff obviously. But imagine if they made the skin again in 2023 with like cooler effects. This skin could easily be an S tier. Firecracker's easily an A tier skin. If the machine gun was cooler, it would have been an S tier. Regardless, eight years old, well done right with this one. Okay, last but hopefully not least is Crime City Jinx. Crime City Jinx is pretty cool. You know what I like about it is that they're trying to give it like a dress vibe, like you know, like mafia bosses and stuff. I like that, but they could have maybe made it a bit more obvious. Or maybe made the dress a bit more cooler. I swear they wear like a bright red dress, but then I guess that's too many red skins for Jinx, so I understand why they pick purple. But I wish they made it a bit more flamboyant or obvious, you know what I mean? But I am a big fan. I like the purple. Again, as mentioned in the previous skin, I like that it's not similar to the original skin. Honestly, I've chatted a lot of shit about Jinx Arcane, but how the hell did they make all of these skins and then make Arcane? I genuinely don't get it. It's the most laziest skin I've ever seen. All right, ultimate. Okay, that was, that was all right. The ultimate was all right. Like, what the hell is that? They could have done a cool animation, man. I don't know. I don't vibe with it. But I guess it's very crime. But no, it's not. I'm trying to be nice. That's rubbish, man. They could have made that shit better. I like how the machine gun looks very old school mafia boss. And the rocket. I like the designs. I'll give it that. Basic colors, but I guess it makes sense. Finally, the recall. What the hell is this? This is so cool, but so rubbish at the same time. I think from my commentary, it's clearly not an S tier skin. I do think it belongs in this tier for sure, though. All right, peoples. This is my final rankings of all the Jinx skins. Do you agree with them? What would you change or do differently? Please do leave a like, comment and subscribe as it does help me with future content. And who you'd want me to do next in League of Legends.